This is a quick overview on how to use StratWord. First, you'll go to the App Store and search for StratWord. Open the app and you'll be taken to the sign up screen where you'll enter some basic information such as your name, email, and if you have a favorite movie quote, you'll enter that as well. If you already have an account, you simply click Login. On the Login screen, you'll enter your credentials, then you'll be taken to the home screen. Once you're in the home screen, you'll see five steps. There are some additional steps we'll go over in a bit. If you attempt to click on step two or any other steps below step one, you'll come across a lock screen message. You must complete the first step before you can move on to any additional steps. The first step is to create the title of your screenplay. You will type the title of your screenplay, then scroll down and select Done Creating Title. You will automatically be taken back to the home screen where step two will unlock. Step two is where you will create the lock line for your screenplay. Once you're on the screenplay logline screen, you'll have the option to create three loglines. After you've created your three screenplay loglines, you'll scroll down and you'll select which logline is your favorite. This will be your official logline. You'll then select Done Creating Logline to move on to step three to create your characters. Once in the Create Character screen, you'll hit the plus symbol to the right of the screen to add your characters. You get to create two principal characters. You enter basic information such as name, age, race, gender, and a short description. To remove any character, you hit the trash can icon on the bottom of the character description. After creating your principal characters, you will then scroll down to create your supporting characters. You have the option of creating 10 supporting characters. After creating all your characters, you select Done Creating Characters and you'll be taken to the option to create bios for your characters. Once you're in the characters bio screen, you'll select all the characters you previously created and create bios for all of them. You'll see information auto populate. Then in the box below, begin to type your character's bio. There should be at least two paragraphs. This is where you should have some fun with your characters. What do they want? Where are they when your story begins? Go wild with this one. You select Done Creating Bios and you'll be given the option to go to step four. Step four is where you write the treatment for your screenplay. This will be the blueprint you use to draft your screenplay. You write a beginning, which will set up your world and characters. You write the middle, which is where all the conflicts and obstacles will be established. And finally, your ending. This is the resolution, your character arc, where you wrap everything up. If you need to, use your character bios for inspiration when writing the treatment. Once finished, you then be given the option to go to the final step. The final step is where you'll use the treatment to develop your screenplay. You write dialogue and establish location. You then select Done Writing Screenplay to unlock all previous steps and create your next screenplay information. To see all the screenplay data you've created, you select the folder image on the bottom of your screen. This will take you to all your screenplay data. On this screen, you can edit all your previous information. You can also delete your screenplay to make more room. You'll also have the option to download your screenplay information into a PDF file. The free version of StratWord allows you to store up to three screenplay data. You can always delete a screenplay to create more space. You can also add more screenplays for $1.99 per screenplay by upgrading your account. If you select the clipboard image on the bottom of your screen, it will take you to the recommended reading page. There you will see a list of screenplays that are recommended reading. You can keep track of everything you've read by selecting read. Let us explore some additional tabs. If you select the Now What tab, it will take you to read some information about how to protect your screenplay. This information is very valuable and is highly recommended that you copyright each screenplay that you write. You can even use all the screenplay data you've collected with StratWorld to copyright your idea without having to complete your screenplay. Let's now explore the Coverage tab. This will take you to where you can upload your completed screenplay for some feedback by our readers. You must upload a PDF file in order to receive feedback notes. The feedback notes will be sent with in the app via your account information page. Lastly, we will explore the account information page. Once you click on the person image on the bottom of the screen, you'll be taken to your account information. You'll be able to update information such as your email, password, movie crow, and deactivate your account. You can also view our privacy policy. Your coverage notes will be available in this area. You'll be given the option to download each coverage note you receive into a PDF file. The accounts page is where you'll also go to upgrade your account. You can tap to view our blog, which discusses everything related to screenwriting. Lastly, you can use the contest us tab to send us a message. This is it for the overview, and remember to always have fun writing. Fade out.